as the 21st century began, human evolution was at a turning point. Natural selection, the process by which the strongest, the smartest, the fastest reproduced in greater numbers than the rest, a process which had once favored the noblest traits of man, now began to favor different traits. Most science fiction of the day predicted a future that was more civilized and more intelligent. But as time went on, things seemed to be heading in the opposite direction, a dumbing down. How did this happen? Evolution does not necessarily reward intelligence. With no natural predators to thin the herd, it began to simply reward those who reproduced the most and left the intelligent to become an endangered species. Having kids is such an important decision. We're just waiting for the right time. It's not something you want to rush into, obviously. No way. Oh shit, I'm pregnant again! I got too many damn kids! Thought you was on the pill or some shit! Hell no! I must have been thinking of Brittany. Brittany? No, you can't! There's no way we could have a child now. Mm -mm. Not with the market the way it is, no. God, no. That just wouldn't make any sense. Come on out here, bitch! He don't care about you! Yeah, well, there must be something he likes over here! Don't mean nothing to me, baby! Oh, shit. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Well, we finally decided to have children, and I'm not pointing fingers, but it's not going well. <laughs> and this is helping. So. I'm just saying that before I have in vitro, maybe you should be willing That's to. It's always me, right? Well. Not my sperm count. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna fuck all of you! That's my boy! <laughs> Cleavon is lucky to be alive. He attempted to jump a jet ski from a lake into a swimming pool and impaled his crotch on an iron gate. But thanks to recent advances in stem cell research and the fine work of doctors Krensky and Altshuler, Cleavon should regain full reproductive function. Put your hands off my junk! <laughs> Unfortunately, Trevor passed away from a heart attack while masturbating to produce sperm for artificial insemination. But I have some eggs frozen, so just as soon as the right guy comes along, you know. And so it went for generations, although few if any seemed to notice.